Structural design innovation cast in place concrete. The Fairway Road Grand River Bridge in Kitchener, Cambridge. Region of Waterloo, DTAH Architects Limited, MMM Group Limited, Grass Can Construction Limited, Torbridge Construction Limited, Aluma Systems Inc., and Dufferin Concrete, a division of Wholesome Inc. Your award winners. The Fairway Road Grand River Bridge in the region of Waterloo, Ontario carries four lanes of traffic with multi-use sidewalks for pedestrians and cyclists on both sides and provides an alternative link between the city of Cambridge and the city of Kitchener. The talent challenge for the design team was to enhance the architectural beauty of the crossing while minimizing material use and cost and creating a safe and highly functional river crossing. Meeting these goals required creative, outside-the-box thinking. The bridge represents the first new bridge constructed over the Grand River in the area in more than 40 years. Congratulations. Good evening, everybody. My name is Scott Leach. I'm a bridge engineer with uh, MMM Group, and I was the lead design engineer for the Fairway Road Grand River Bridge. Um, I'd like to start by thanking the Ontario Concrete Awards for this honor. Um, in the category of uh, structural innovation, I'd also like to thank all the team members that were involved in this effort. Um, Thank you to the, the owner, the Regional Waterloo, for providing MMM the opportunity to design this bridge. Thank you to DTAH Architects, the general contractor, Grass Can Construction, this, the bridge subcontractor, Tor Bridge Construction, Aluma Systems, who provided the false work on the job, Dufferin Concrete, Division of Wholesome, who provided all the concrete, the post-tensioning supplier, Frazenne, and the rebar supplier, Gilbert Steele. This was truly a very unique, challenging, and interesting project to work on. The bridge is the first new crossing of the Grand River undertaken by the region since its incorporation in 1973, and it's also the largest bridge ever constructed by the region of Waterloo. As a result, this was a highly visible and somewhat contentious project within the region, and it was featured in local newspapers and on local television network. The project featured several, several challenges, the most prominent being that we had to span the, the Grand River, approximately a 95 meter span. Given the uh, significance of the river, the fact that there's First Nation interests within the area, and species at risk within the water. It was important not to have any piers or temporary uh, substructure in the water. As a result, this uh, led to the preferred alternative of a cast in place concrete post tension segmental box girder built using segmental cantilever construction methods, which allowed the construction without the use of any temporary supports within the water. While the construction of cast-in-place post-tension box girders is fairly common in Ontario, it's typically done on uh, false work. Constructing using uh, segmental cantilever methods is rather unique within Ontario um, and is done by cantilevering out from the piers using form travelers. So this type of bridge not only needs to be designed for its final configuration, but also needs to be designed for all the stages of construction as you can leave her out with each segment. Um, at this point, I'd like to acknowledge Mr. John Stevenson from the Region of Waterloo. He was a project manager for the region. Given the complexity of this assignment and the issues uh, surrounding it, John had the foresight to retain additional expertise during the design phase. Um, to reduce the potential for problems that may arise during construction and to provide an aesthetically pleasing and durable structure. During the design phase, we uh, retained DTH architects, 
to provide design input on aesthetic enhancements for the bridge, including the elegant railings, accent lighting, and uniquely shaped piers. We also enlisted a construction engineer with experience in segmental construction to provide insight into the complications that may arise with this type of construction so we could um, effectively mitigate possible issues through design rather than dealing with them during construction. And we enlisted a concrete specialist to help uh, specify a concrete mix that would provide 100 year durability. These are things that most owners would not allow for, but John wanted to make sure that uh, this bridge was done right. Uh, the general contractor, Grass King Construction, and sub bridge subcontractor, Torbridge Construction, also deserve a lot of recognition for this job. Um, while they're very experienced bridge builders in Ontario, as I mentioned, this type of construction is very unique in Ontario, so they had never had any experience with it. Uh, to gain experience, they actually traveled to the Czech Republic to witness uh, the construction of one of these bridges and to learn how it's done. And they also had the form work brought in, or the form travelers brought over from Europe. In conclusion, I think everybody involved in this project realized that it was a, a unique opportunity and the final product shows the care and dedication that all members of the team put into it. Given the surroundings in the, to the bridge, it was desirable to have a bridge that would provide opportunities for pedestrians, hikers, cyclists and canoeists to uh, safely pause to enjoy the vista. It was desirable to design a bridge that permits motorists to view the valley while maintaining safety and without providing any undue driver distractions. Based on the extremely positive feedback we have got from the public, um, I think we succeeded. Thank you. Congratulations. Thank you.